Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to another Scrum Creation Kit tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to link two cells together. So whether that be an interior cell to an interior cell or to an exterior cell. Uh, so just linking two load doors together basically. So to get started, do usual and load your Scrum ESM. You can use update or not, it's entirely up to you. And set as active if you're editing a current mod. So. Uh, as you can see I'm in my usual room now which I use for my tutorial videos and we have a, a nice doorway here which we want to place a door in so uh, first important thing about linking uh, to the outside world or cells together is uh, the door that you're going to use needs to really be a low door and what I mean by that is a door with which doesn't just open and then you can see straight through uh, it's a door that has a nice bit of sort of void that you can sort of see here uh, on the back of it. So it just opens slightly the door and then uh, tran sort of teleports you, I suppose. So I'll just show you what I mean. Uh, we're going to go under doors, farmhouse, and I'm going to grab a normal animated farmhouse door. Now, as you can see, if I use this door, uh, it just, if I double click on it and open it up, it just opens that is as simple as that and you'd see a void behind it or whatever is behind it so what we actually want to use you'll see the difference now is L door uh, L is for load sometimes it actually says load depends what uh, architecture you're under but as you can see you get this uh, put it in the void here you get this nice black box on the background so the door will only open slightly and it will see the the blackness behind it to give the impression that you are going somewhere else so I'm just gonna spin this round and I'm just gonna use this door it doesn't actually fit properly but uh, it doesn't matter for the tutorial let's just dump it there there we go you'd use whatever fits so make sure it's a load door and uh, you're gonna need one for the other side so I'm gonna copy that and then we're gonna choose somewhere in Tamriel It's always Riverwood with me. I just nice quick place to uh, to go to to dump things to test. So if we zoom out, yep, I've already got a door there actually, but I'll get rid of that one. And I'm going to paste my my door here. Now this looks absolutely stupid, I know, but uh, it's just to demonstrate this is this is going to work. Now once you've got those, uh, you want to double click on one of the doors and leave the box somewhere where you can access it. And then you want to go to the other side that you're going to be linking it to, which will be my test room. Whoa, that went a bit crazy. Can we zoom back in there? Going crazy on the scroll button. That went a bit hectic. There we go. Get to our door. So we'll make sure you can see the door. The the door is visible. Yeah, visible in the uh, in the render window. Then click back on your box here, click teleport, select link, link reference and double click. Now where uh, you don't actually have to make your way into this cell, you could have gone under cell, find the name of your cell and then find the exact uh, reference name of the door. But uh, that's actually quite a bit tricky. If you know what the name is then it probably is quicker. It's entirely up to you how you do it. So teleport, there we go, linked it to that. Click OK and you'll see uh, these nice yellow markers which indicate where the player will be placed when he teleports through. So you don't want this embedded halfway through the door, which in most cases it does do. So place it nicely there. And then if you double click that, it's actually a nice quick way of getting to the other side. Click yes. Give it a minute. There we go. It's done the same here, so I'm just going to spin that round. It doesn't have to be perfect. And uh, there's still uh, quite a bit to be done here. Now, what people say is... Um, after they've done this it all works fine but their followers don't follow in and out and they get stuck in buildings now the reason for that is we need to go on the nav mesh button here and um, you have to make sure that both cells are nav meshed if you're editing uh, something from the game cells from the game they will be nav mesh so you'll probably be fine with this but you'll want to make sure it's pretty much on one of the triangles here I'll leave a link in the description for any um, sort of nav mesh tutorial so what you want is just to click the tick as long as you've got the place nav meshed and there's a triangle under your, your doorway. It'll either light up blue or it'll light up a sort of green colour. Uh, either one's great. 
Uh, blue is usually when it's preferred paving, basically. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but as long as the triangle, uh, or one of the triangles sitting under your yellow marker lights up blue or green, that's done. Now, uh, I'm just going to go on the other side, and you need to do this for both sides, and all that does is it allows your um, fellow NPCs, so followers, to recognise that it's a point in the nav mesh that they can sort of uh, sit on when they come through. And uh, that will allow them to go through with you. So, click on the nav mesh, finalise here, and it'll do the same now, because that isn't preferred, preferred paving, it's done it green. So, there we go, got that both linked up. Uh, nice link to our door. I'll just nip in game quickly and I'll show you how our two doors working. It's going to be a bit weird appearing in the middle of Riverwood, but obviously you'll do the, the relevant doors for your place. So, let's nip in game. Okay, so here we are. I've got Milo's Zun with me from my followers pack one. Just to test the theory of the followers working, and we're just going to go through our door now. Excuse any lag, just getting a bit confused. There we go. So Milo has followed us through, and we'll just go back. And there we go. So that works fully, uh, nav mesh sorted and as you can see when we went through the doors because there were load doors uh, they didn't open fully, they just opened slightly like they usually do. So thank you very much for watching, hope you found this helpful. Please leave me comments, visit my antisocial websites and my main website and I will speak to you next time.